In this video, we are going to prove the sum to product formulas for sine. And we will do this using the sum and difference formulas for sine. Now, I have already proved the sum and difference formulas for sine in a previous video. So it is assumed that you already know how to use them before watching this video. We begin with the sum and difference formulas for sine. We know that sine of alpha plus beta is equal to sine of alpha cosine of beta plus cosine of alpha sine of beta. This is the sum formula for sine, and the difference formula for sine is sine of alpha minus beta is equal to sine of alpha cosine of beta minus cosine of alpha sine of beta. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to add these two equations together and we will get sine of alpha plus beta plus sine of alpha minus beta is equal to two sine of alpha cosine of beta. Now I'm just going to call this equation one and we will use it later. Now what we're going to do is we're going to let A equal alpha plus beta and let's let B equal alpha minus beta. So let's let A equal alpha plus beta and B equal alpha minus beta. Let's call these two equations, equations two. So I'm gonna call this equations two. Now we add and subtract the two equations that contain A and B. So here we will add A is equal to alpha plus beta and B is equal to alpha minus beta. And we will add here and I'm going to set it up again and subtract so a is equal to alpha plus beta minus B is equal to a negative alpha minus beta so adding we have a plus B is equal to 2 alpha, and if I solve for alpha, we have A plus B over 2 is equal to alpha, and subtracting, we have A minus B is equal to 2 beta. And if I solve for beta, we have a minus b over 2 is equal to beta. And now I will call these two equations, equations 3. Now all we do is plug equations 2 and 3 into 1. So we are going to put... 2 and 3 into 1. So I'm just going to rewrite equation 1. So we have sine of alpha plus beta plus sine of alpha minus beta is 
equal to two sine of alpha cosine of beta. So I'm just going to replace alpha plus beta with A. So we have sine of A plus sine of alpha minus beta, which is sine of B. which is equal to two sine of alpha is equal to a plus b over two. So we have a plus b over two times cosine of beta and beta is equal to a minus b over two. So we have a minus b over two. And here is our sum to product formula for sine. Well, at least one of them. For the second formula, we're going to do the exact same thing, except we are going to subtract the difference formula for sine from the sum formula for sine. So, we're going to rewrite the sum and difference formulas. We have sine of alpha plus beta is equal to sine of alpha cosine of beta plus cosine of alpha sine of beta. And we have sine of alpha minus beta is equal to sine of alpha cosine of beta minus cosine of alpha sine of beta. And we're going to subtract, so we are subtracting these equations. So we have sine of alpha plus beta minus sine of alpha minus beta is equal to two cosine of alpha sine of beta. And I'm going to call this equation equation four. And now what we want to do is plug equations two and three into four. So we put two and three into four. So we have sine of alpha plus beta is equal to a. So sine of A minus sine of alpha minus beta is equal to B. So we have sine of B is equal to two cosine of alpha is equal to A plus B over two. So A plus B over two times sine of Beta is equal to A minus B over two. So we have A minus B over two. And here is your second sum to product formula for sine. And that is how you prove the sum to product formulas for sine. Thank you for watching and always remember that you are awesome.